everybody. My name is Dr. Jessica Friedman. I am the chair and founder of Med at its Medical Admissions. Today, I'm going to be talking about six tips as you get ready to write your medical school personal statement. Tip number one, and I realize this may sound somewhat basic, but your medical school personal statement should be just as what the title describes. It should be personal. The reader really wants to understand who you are, where you are from, what motivates you, and how you have gotten to this point in your life. Therefore, you want to talk about your most significant personal milestones, your most significant extracurricular and scholarly milestones, as well as your most significant academic milestones. Tip number two, you want to think about how your medical school personal statement is going to fit within the context of your entire medical school application. I'm sure you have heard the term holistic admissions in the past, but medical school admissions committees do practice holistic admissions. This means that they are never looking at just one part of your application or your candidacy when deciding whether or not they want to interview you or if they want to offer you a position in the medical school class. So you want to think about how is your personal statement going to tell your story in conjunction with your letters of recommendation, your experience descriptions, and your secondary essays. Tip number three, you want your medical school personal statement to be uniquely you. I can tell you I have read thousands and thousands of medical school personal statements and every single one is different. No one has had your exact path to this point in their life. No one has had the exact experiences, observations, and insights that you have had to this point in your life. So think about what are the experiences that really set you apart and that are the most important and significant to you and why. You want to think about how that is going to present in your personal statement. And you also want to think about what is your expertise. Now, no one expects you to be ready to be a cardiac surgeon or a practicing physician. But certainly, you have probably dedicated a significant amount of your time to certain experiences, certain activities. And you probably have developed at least an elementary expertise in something. How are you going to communicate your expertise or your niche to medical school admissions committees through your medical school personal statement. That's what you really want to think about when you're writing it. Tip number four, reflect on what motivates you, what drives you. When medical school admissions committees and committee members are reading your medical school personal statement, they really want to understand why you want to be a physician. Now, many physicians have multifaceted careers. Very few do just one thing in their careers. So you want to think about why do you want to be a doctor? What motivates you to become a doctor? What aspects of your experiences have led you to want to pursue medicine as a career? So really think deeply and reflect on the reasons why you want to become a physician and make sure that those reasons are clearly expressed in your medical school personal statement. Tip number five, use stories and anecdotes carefully and wisely. Certainly, we advocate students using stories and anecdotes as they really help to illustrate why you want to be a doctor. They help to illustrate your values and your skills and what's important to you. But if you use too many anecdotes in your personal statement, then your personal statement is just going to read as a series of anecdotes, and it really is not going to explain why you want to be a physician. So while it's really important to use some stories and some anecdotes in your personal statement, we recommend that you don't use more than maybe one or two anecdotes and that they are very carefully placed to illustrate the points that you are trying to get across. Tip number six, be sure that you communicate how you hope to contribute to the medical school class and who you see yourself being in the future. Medical school admissions committees are looking to compose diverse classes of people with very different and distinctive interests. 
Therefore, you want to make it clear that you have an idea of how you're going to contribute and in what capacity. You also want to give some idea of what kind of physician you hope to be in the future. What do you hope to do? And why do you want to go to medical school? And how are you going to pursue those goals as a medical student? So in your personal statement, you want to have an element of being forward thinking. So the medical school admissions reader can really envision you as a member of their medical school class. Thank you so much for watching this video. I encourage you to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, um, on Facebook. Join our private Facebook group. It's free. And also visit our website, www.mededits.com, where you will find plenty of free resources to learn more about the medical school admissions process. Good luck.